Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On this week's video, I am going to show you my bear that's open. Um, I got to move in. It was supposed to open March 1st. I got to move in the day before. And of course, my husband is on a work trip. So thankfully, my dad came to help with his truck. My, the, my girls helped me in the basement the day before, kind of pack everything up. And to be honest, from the time that we got there, it took us two hours to just do three different loads from the vehicles and set it up. And I am going to count that as super glad that I had done like what you guys called a beta booth down in my basement. So I wasn't stressed about whether it would all work if I have enough. Now, now that it's in there, I really don't feel like I have enough, but it's a great start. Also, um, I applied some grace to myself. I like had this like built up in my brain that it was like this big, huge grand opening and everything had to be finished, but it's okay. My first day, I don't have my sign up. My sign's still not up. In fact, I'm still working on that part of it, but that's okay. Grace, it's a process. A booth is never gonna be perfection. It is gonna be evolving and changing, just like I hope to throughout this process. So um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. Fun news alert. I set it up the night before, went back in with my daughter the next day to bring like eight more things in and four things had already sold. So my first day open and I sold four things. It's very helpful because there's like this awful lie that I've been believing for way too long that nobody would ever want to buy what I make. And that was just like God saying, I got you, baby. Like people want what you're selling and you're having fun doing it. And you know what? Um, I talked to my best friend this morning on the phone and she's like, you sound so excited. And I just, I am, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So thank you guys so much for going on this journey. I hope you enjoy the look at the booth. And um, next week I'm gonna try to get back to normal. I'm gonna try to get on some kind of a schedule of this is how often I check in the booth and get back on my video schedule. I do, I did go thrifting yesterday as like a little, yay, I'm open. And I have an amazing haul. People were looking at my basket going, where'd you find all this good stuff? So I'm probably going to put that video out on Monday. And then next Friday, I'm going to try to get back into my thrift flip videos on Fridays. I still want to do DIY videos because that is the creative part. Um, I just want to do this booth stuff in addition to what I was already doing. So I'm not intending on changing this channel to be booth only. I would just add that element and still continue my thrift flips. Yep, 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 been doing a lot of talking. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoy.
So what did you guys think of my booth? I am thrilled and excited about how it turned out. I am beyond excited that day one I got four sales. Um, something that I didn't mention in the beginning is that piece of furniture that I did for the Ugly Duckling Challenge. As my husband and I were walking it out the front door, the door was taped shut and it swung open and the glass shattered everywhere. And um, I didn't panic. I just, this is what happened to the door. Glass shattered. So I'm like, plan B, we're taking the door off. We're just gonna take it in like it is. If I can fix the door, put like a piece of metal in it, cool. I'm not putting glass back in it. I'm not paying for glass. Maybe I'll do some type of metal or maybe I'll just sell it as is. So, um, you know, I'm just applying grace. I'm applying grace to broken things. I'm applying grace to the expectations that I had on it. And let me just say like, as I was driving there with my dad in the other vehicle, I just like have this overwhelming feeling of gratitude. I just remember being in my twenties and going through booths and saying, how do people do this? How do they make rent? Do they just like shop for a living? Like this is just, it was always like this latent dream that I guess I had. And yesterday as I'm driving there, I'm like, this is actually happening. Like I've just imagined it would. I, I, worked on products as if it was going to happen and it happened. So I just like had this overwhelming feeling of gratitude for the support in my life and my family and friends and people from thrift stores that are now my friends and people that have known me maybe a year on YouTube, maybe less that are just supporting me and sending me private emails, just saying that they're praying for me. And I just wanted to let you know that my heart is full of gratitude for that. And um, it's okay to reinvent yourself um, after being a stay-at-home mom for almost 13 years. And it's kind of fun to see my girls say that they're proud of me and that they're on my team and see that I can pour myself into them solid for 13 years. And it's okay to continue to pour into them, but have other hopes and dreams and to see me go after them. So... I wish I could play the song for you, but YouTube will not let me. There is this artist, Brandon Lake, and he has a song, Gratitude. If you have Amazon in your home, just tell Alexa, play Gratitude by Brandon Lake. Hear Gratitude from your library on Amazon Music. I wish I could play it for you. Alexa, off. I might try to go put it on my Facebook page if you can't get it on there. It is such an amazing song. Just talking about the gratitude that I have for everything that God has provided for me, that um, how he has answered the desires of my heart that were starting back in my 20s and that have just grown and gone away and now just came back and just saying, He wanted to bless me and um, it's an amazing feeling um, to to see how the steps had been laid out and how God opened every door for me and gave me the confidence I needed when I needed it and um, like fun fact I hate being in front of a camera like I'm <laughs> I realize the irony of that statement, but I hate it. And the, the fact of talking in front of people, like the only way I can get through it is I am pretending like I'm on a FaceTime call with just you, not a bunch of you, just you. Um, that is the only way that I can get through this because of my, I would rather not be on camera. But when you feel like you're walking in God's purpose and when you feel like your path just constantly is being blessed and it's a yes, like those excuses go by the wayside. Like I will get over this camera thing because I get to do what I'm loving and I feel alive. And so I wanted to encourage you like five years ago, I would have laughed at you if, if I, like, if you said you will have a YouTube channel that's a year old and open a booth 
you know, in 2022. I feel like there is no way my life is going to end up that way. So like, it's just, it's kind of fun to see how God has removed my barriers, the barriers I had on myself, the doubts I had on myself, the fear that I had that nobody would want to buy what I was selling and the fear that I had that nobody would think what I can do is valuable. I mean, those were legit lies that I was believing for a lot of years. Um, I no longer believe them. I see how God sees me, that he made me with a purpose. He created me to be creative. He, he created all of us to be creative, but I know in my heart, he created me to be creative. And I feel most alive when I've got that in my life. So I am rambling, but for those of you that stayed to the end, just wanted to say thank you for your version of support, whether it's watching me, liking the video, sharing with your people, commenting, sending me private messages, praying for me. Guys, you can do it too. You can do it too. The, um, the roadblocks that you put in your own way, they can just disappear over time and over baby steps of just learning to believe in yourself. So what in the world was that? I don't even know what I just said. Thank you, God, for giving me the words. Um, thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.